Alright. Where's my banana and out of you? Plant an appeal. <laughs> You're a living comedy skit. That I am. That I am. I am running out of skirmishes. I'm gonna need to start really getting some big old beefy kills soon. Also, the enemies don't run from the current. Now, you managed to beat the king earlier. So I do have to kill some things to get some skirmishes. <laughs> I am running low on them. With all the fights I've been skipping. and kill him. Perfect. Please break the diary mirror will catch you looking. Oh, this one looks fairly recent. We could read a little bit. Like a tiny bit? You probably should right now. Sure, we do not have time. Here's what I would usually say, but I'd love to think about boring mundane everyday problems for a bit. Dear Dyer, say so think about our problems. Bell, pick a page. One page, and then we're going. I'm reading again? Okay. Hmm. Okay. Mom told me to clean my room today. I hate cleaning my room. The room isn't even dirty. Why well, don't you understand? Erg. Also, Dad knows that no one can say the name of the island north of here anymore. I tried to say it yesterday, and I got, like, the weirdest headache for hours. Might trick my friends into saying it tomorrow. The rest is just doodles of a little girl laughing uproariously. Ah, the island north of Valgard. I remember when it happened. Well, remember isn't the right word, is it? We all just know something happened. An entire stretch of land disappearing from people's minds doesn't happen often, does it? I think I think my village was really close to it. <clears throat> my sister said it was that all everyone could talk about for weeks. That's so frightening. I'm glad that whatever happened, she didn't get caught up in it. Oh, yeah. Still, that country's name. What was its name again? Oh, I think it was something like... Don't say it! Crab! Yeah! <laughs> the name of this country. You try to remember. 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 Only silence answers you. Is this what the king wanted you to remember? Just remember it. Say it. Make it real. You can't say it. You don't even want to try, but... He turned to Isbo. But can you try to say it anyway? Huh, but why? It's just gonna give me a headache. Isabel looks at you. Something about your expression makes him reconsider. Well, sure, Sif. I'll say it. That country's name was... Was... You know, I had it before, but now that I'm actively trying to remember it, nothing comes to mind? Huh, is that so? 
You're dumb, Za. I know it. It's... What? But... Wait. Huh? What's... Can't remember it either, yeah? When you asked me, answering you felt automatic. Like if you asked me what 1 plus 1 makes. But trying to remember it now is more like... Like calculating 72 times 89? Nah. That's 6408. I have a brain and I know how to use it. What? Isabo? Nah, it felt more like... Asking me to remember my first steps. How can I remember that? I can't remember that. How can you expect me to remember that? What a terrible analogy, but I can't seem to remember it either. When we were talking about it, I could think it clearly, but trying to remember it now, let alone say it? I can't remember the country itself either. I just remember it was an island north of Bulgar. And and it had a different belief than the chain's belief, didn't it? Something about the sky? You know? The universe. That's right, the universe. Oh yeah, like stars and stuff. We also know that people could remember that country clearly before. And... Ugh, my head is killing me. And we know that trying to remember stuff makes our brains hurt. Let's stop here. It'd be bad to fight the king with a raging migraine. Yeah. Sorry we couldn't say it, Sif. We don't respond. Stars. So the king is from that country as well. The country no one can remember. Your country. The country you were born in, raised in, spent your entire childhood in. And yet, even now, thinking about it, what it may have looked like. You can't even imagine it. For a long time now, you haven't been able to remember anything about it. You forget it even exists half the time. Anything linked to that country has just stopped existing for you. Your childhood, your parents, your life, your language, your culture, your faith, the stars, the constellations, the universe. It's all gone. Forgotten. The king, he was from there. You're sure of it. And then something happened and the country disappeared without a trace. Unable to be remembered by anyone. So, I was right. The uh, fucking... The book with the tree on it... With the title that gives us a headache is a book about our country. No one can remember what made everyone forget about its very existence, but something must have, right? But if it happened, if he's so attached to it, he asks you if you remember it every single time you see him. If he's so attached to that country, why would he be so obsessed with Volgard then? Why would he decide to freeze it all in time? You can't figure it out quite yet, but there must be something somewhere. Something that's similar to his goal. Hmm. So... I already know the answer to that. Because that kind of popped up when I was looking for exactly where the hell he was. Where the hell the article was. Fabbing raw meat again and again. Back to it. <laughs> so his goal is to freeze everything in time. And another way to freeze things in time... Is... Take a photograph of it. So this mirror that can take a photograph can freeze things in time. A mirror. You and your family members are reflected in it. That's a big mirror. Massive even. And there's not really anything else here in the room. It's a picture of all of you. It's us. Isn't it? It's a crafted mirror that takes pictures. Wait. No! There was a lot to read there. Son of a bitch. <sighs> Did I save back in the Dormont Meadow?
know why I did not. Damn it. I wish it wouldn't have let me skip that dialogue. Probably not going to come back. Fuck. That's obnoxious. here. Luke warned me about zoning out. Doesn't matter, but what else does? We shall fight. Do which side of the universe favorite? You feel more bower. Now we talk to the king. As he waits. Where are you from? Will he say it if you ask? Can he say it? Someone asked you this exact same question before, and you couldn't answer. You couldn't say anything. You forgot it all. But, but, where, where I'm from? Oh, bright one. If you're asking with such a look in your eye, do you remember then? Can you see it? Can you picture it, bright one? Bright one, please, you can't. You have to remember. I know you can. We both can. We are the only ones present here who can. What? Sifrid, what is he talking about? Sif, Sif, are you okay? Bright one. No. You're trying, I can tell. But the knowledge keeps escaping you, doesn't it? Slipping through your fingers. It is the same for me, but we have to try to remember, Bright one. I see flashes of it, of what was. The mountains, the sea, the lightless sand, dark like the night sky. Our country, Bright one. Our country, our home, we have to say it. We cannot let oblivion win. Our home, we can rebuild it together. Your power and mine, we just have to wish for it. We just have to ask. Oh, the king's battle theme is different now. It's like slower and more ominous. We just have to say its name. Oh shit. Ah. Mm. Ah, Sif. Ah, no, no, no. No, no, no. You heard it. He said it. He tried to say it. Your country's name, your home, your No, no, it's gone. It's gone. Did he say it? 
All of it? Did he say it? You couldn't hear it. Can't remember it. Can't. What's happening? The king is attacking Sifrin. Everyone protect him. Stop talking, king. Leave Frin alone. Sif, your head. It feels like it's splitting in two. Your country. Your home. You can't remember it. It's gone. It's gone. It's gone. Gone from your past. Gone from your mind. Gone from the very planet you stand on. And it was yours. It was yours. It was yours and it's gone and you can't even say its name. But if he... If the king could, then maybe... Maybe... Say it. You have to say it. If he couldn't do it, maybe you can. Maybe you both can. Bright one, please. Please. You inhale and try to grasp it. Grasp its name. Ah! Uh. Ah, uh, no! Your throat. Your head. It hurts. It hurts! You spit blood. You hack up. You have to get it out. Bright one, I almost heard it. I, please, again, once again, we have to try. Together. Your entire body hurts. Say it. Your head is killing you, but you have to try. You have to. We have to stop the king. Sifrin, whatever he's telling you to say, stop. Frin. Sifrin. But you have to. But you have to. What do they know anyway? What do they understand anyway? The pain of not remembering your own blinding country. Your own home? The king is right. You have to get it back. You have to get it back! You inhale. Someone is screaming. You realize it's your own voice. Your throat feels raw. Your head feels like it's splitting in two. Your stomach feels like a black hole. The scent of sugar is all around you, so thick you almost gag on it. You can't hold on to anything anymore. You. But it's all gone. Ah! 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 You cough, cough, cough. You cough until you can't even move or breathe anymore. Your throat hurts. So that's what we get for trying to remember the name of our lost country. Fucking me and the king both, man. We're trying. Like, we're, we're bros now. You couldn't say it. You couldn't say it. What was the point, anyway? What was the point of saying its name? What was the king thinking? It's gone. Your home is gone and has been for a long time. So, I think the king's plan might be our power to go back in time to before our country disappeared and the king's power to freeze it so it can't disappear, maybe? There's nothing you can do to bring it back. Doesn't the king see that? Doesn't he see that you have to let it go? You start laughing. Will you ever take your own advice? You need to go and talk to the king one last time. Yay, happy town. Again. But yeah, they, they don't under... Like, fucking... We are slowly descending into absolute madness. We are losing our brain here. Hey, Stardust. How can I help you on this wonderful new loop? You're doing so many different things. What do you need help with? Alright, well. Alright, let's go see what she has to say when I ask her about talking to the king again. The king is from your country, the one no one can remember. Something happened to this country to make it disappear, even in people's minds. And he wants to freeze Valgar in time to make sure that, in a twisted way, it'd never be forgotten. What a blinding idiot. 
loop. I have to talk to him one last time. The king is trying to remember our country. Trying to keep Volgar from meeting the same fate. He's deluded. He can't bring it back. But, but, but you have to try. Just do whatever you want, Stardust. Have fun. About the king. Oh, actually, if I go, if I get a refresher, she might tell me about it. You've also decided that he's misunderstood or whatever. So, you've started talking to him to know more about him. To freeze people in time, he's using something called Timecraft. It's not something simple to do like rock, paper, scissors, craft, but a craft much more complicated and rare. But it's what allowed him to freeze an entire, an entire country in time. Timecraft's been long hypothesized to be impossible to control since it's probably killing anyone trying to use it. And yet, both you and the king are fine. How? He's saying he's able to use Timecraft thanks to the universe. The universe, the stars... Things that are familiar to you, but completely unknown to your friends for some reason. He's also from someplace other than Volgar. And the king's armor is covered in stars. Stars. You can recognize them as stars, but you can't remember anything about them, can you? The names of constellations escape you. Everyday item names escape you. Your childhood escapes you. You can't remember anything. And the king keeps asking you if you remember. But you know, don't you? You'll never remember anything. No one ever will. No one will ever remember anything about your country. Not its stars. Not its faith. Not the childhood you've spent there. You can't even read or speak your own language. There's proof it existed, though. The diary in the library talks about it. You can't even say its name, though. Why would you? Even I wouldn't be able to say its name, even if I tried. And that's it, isn't it? What the king wants? After having all of his memories erased, without warning, being welcomed into Volgard, making his life here? He just wants to make sure what happened to your country doesn't happen to Volgard. And nothing can happen in Volgard if it's frozen in time. How pathetic. He can't accept that it's gone. Even now, it's just gone. W were you from there, too? What a wild idea, Stardust. Tee-hee. <laughs> About the king. All right. Time to go. Gonna save. It's time to go back and, well, we're, we're gonna fish. We're gonna keep fishing. Fish, 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 fish. Somehow, even though you probably won't catch anything, fishing calms you down. You feel at peace. Once again, you didn't catch anything, but you're fine with it. You feel like you got a chance to put your thoughts in order. You got memory of fishing. You'll always remember this. When equipped, memory of fishing gives you plus two attack for every time you've gone fishing. At the cost of attack speed, though. Can't have everything, Stardust. Now there's 20 attack speed. All right, so. Interesting, actually. That might be something that I want. If I can get like super duper strong, then. Yeah, if I can just get like super duper strong, then I could just have Isabeau give me their turn and then just fucking wreck their shit. I won't need the attack speed. Isabel will be my attack speed. time, so I lose 20 attack speed. Am I always going to lose 20 attack speed?
If you're annoyed, there's a more dignified way to loop back in the village. So if I fish, I gain two points. Attack. Or er, attack. But do I always lose four points in attack speed as I do it? For a long, but it already feels like something you've done forever. Huzzah! Okay, so I'll always lose 20 attack speed, but it's just something I can keep buffing up. Good to know. You broke your head on, you broke it open on a rock. Oh, I'm not going to be able to loop forward to the king again. Looping back resets your wounds, but your neck still hurts. Attacks with the attack speed boss. Mm. It's fine, we're probably just gonna end up talking to him anyway. We're probably going to end up being villains. People are get, our party's probably going to want to hate us. You traveler. I need to talk to him one last time. If we try to say the name of our country too many times, we get toasted. It's bad. Bad toast. Hmm. Let's stop fighting. Sifrin? What are you? You don't need to fight anymore, do you? You understand what the king wants, how he feels. If only you could make him understand. We don't have to fight. We're looking for the same thing. I know. I understand why you're doing this. But this isn't the way to do it. <clears throat> we can protect this country another way. You don't need to freeze it forever. Do you really want it all to end? Let's just stop fighting. Leave this country be. We don't need to keep holding on to it. Let's just let it go. We have to let it go, King. I. Perhaps you are right, right? Huh? What? Let us stop this battle. Let us talk to one another. As people from the same country. Talk. No, Jutsu! The King has stopped fighting you. You lower your dagger. Sifrin, is is this it? You're gonna stop just like that? Bonnie face. You destroyed my home. Froze my sister. Froze all of Volgard in time. And you'll just stop? Just like that? Oh, I will. I have fought for long enough. And I'm starting to realize that even if I did win, my victory would be short-lived. Because you'd be frozen in time yourself, maybe? Stupid. Perhaps. But if someone from my own country is the one asking, then shouldn't I listen? Oh, after all, only a fellow compatriot would understand my pain. 
You said you and Sifford are from the same country. We... We don't know where Frin is from, so... What happened? The king cries out, Oh! But that's the problem, isn't it? That's what we'd like to know as well, isn't it? If I mention it, you might be able to remember it for a brief second. The fate of the island north of Valgard. An island north of Valgard? Is it perhaps the one we can't say the name of? The one no one can remember anything about? The very one. That's where you're both from? So then, what happened? The king sobs. I suppose your story might be similar to mine, Bright One. One day, I just woke up on a beach on a coast north of Valgard. I woke up slowly, as people sometimes do, expecting to remember where I was, what I was supposed to be doing that day. But nothing came to mind. And as I realized nothing came to mind, I also realized I could not remember a single thing. What was I doing here on this beach? What chores had I to do on that day? How I got here? Why I didn't recognize my surroundings? My past? My family? My name? The language I spoke? The alphabet I wrote with? The stars? The country's inhabitants? Culture? Beliefs? Its very name! I could not remember anything, because all my memories, everything even slightly connected to the country I came from, just cannot be accessed easily anymore. And it makes sense, doesn't it? No one on this planet can remember our home as it was. Most people from outside it who had limited ties to it only forgot the country's existence. Maybe forgot a friend from there or a distant family member. But as for someone who had ties to it, who was born there, lived in it, breathed it day and night, there would be nothing to remember. There would just be emptiness. I was cut off from my very existence, my entire past, my entire identity erased. Memories make up the core of who we are, don't they? They're proof that we existed, that we are real. Can you be certain of anything if you do not remember how you learned it? And if you do not remember your past, if you only know it has been erased from your memory because something happened to your home, and if something happened but no one remembers what or why, then then what's stopping it from happening again? What if we forget it all? What if we lose it all once more? The king sobs. And you had to make sure it wouldn't happen again, at any cost necessary. And if the universe led you on this path, then it must be what the universe wants. The universe leads. We can only follow. <laughs> oh, even if you don't agree with my methods, Bright One, I can tell you understand, no matter what. I could not let this happen again. I could not. Not to Valgard. Not to Valgardians who housed me, cared for me, loved me. I do not want to forget it all. Not again. I will keep the things I love close to me. I will make sure they can keep existing so that they can be remembered forever. That was what I thought this whole time. This whole time. But I can see that I was mistaken. You're right, Bright One. We can find another way to protect the people we love. So please, while I still can, let me change my mind. Let me help you. Change? Mirabelle, Madame, if he truly means it, shouldn't we try? Or are we deciding he cannot change? I can't believe it. I want to believe that even the worst person can change. Hmm. Odile. Please, we have to try. I'm with Mira and Sif. Fine. Okay, I'll follow you, friend, but I don't know. I... I'll trust you all. I can't... I can't do anything anyway. You breathe out. If you can end this loop without fighting... If you and the king can come to an understanding, oh, then, bright one, Sifrin, won't you stand next to me? I can bring everyone back. Make sure they'll all move again. We can save this country, together. But I cannot break the curse on my own. Creating the curse was easy, but unraveling it asks for more power than I possess. But with the help of someone else, someone who truly wishes for the curse to be lifted. Is that how it works? It does, if someone wants it enough. Sifrin, should I do it? Go to the king's side. If all that's needed for the curse to break is your help, you're the one who made the king change his mind, the least you can do is help. You start to walk over to the king. <laughs> oh, bright one. Not that bright after all. Ah! 
No, 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 why? The king froze your bodies in time. Son of a bitch! You can think and move your head. Still, so it's not over, but you can't move. No, no! King, you! I can't move. Why can't I move? Bright one, Sifrin. Is this really all I needed to do? To make you trust me? I just need to listen to your empty words. To tell you how sad I am? To make you think I was pathetic? To be pitied? You should have told me sooner. Killing you like this is easier than fighting. What? No! Everyone! What was it you wanted me to do? Let go of my goal? Let go of my wish? Let go of the wish that kept me going all those years? I will never let it go! Volgard! Our country! I will make sure they are kept perfect forever! Because, oh, I can tell, Sifrin, this isn't how it should be. I saw it all, you know. I saw the signs, the way you came in to face me. Like you knew exactly what you were about to fight. The way your companions all flinched, hearing my voice. But not you. The way you knew about my home. The way you can keep it at the forefront of your mind. Like you've practiced as I have. Yes. Oh, oh, I can tell. I can tell, Sifrin. I should have won. I should have won long ago. But something went wrong, didn't it? Victory keeps escaping my grasp. Sifrin. It's you, isn't it? The one who's keeping me from winning. How many times? Have you kept me from victory, Sifrin? You can't breathe. What is he talking about? What? Ha 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 ha. I can tell. I can feel it. This scent. This overpowering sweet scent. I can taste the power of wishcraft on you. Huh? Wishcraft? I can tell, Sifrin. It's you. You're the one keeping me from total victory. You're the one keeping me from my perfect ending. If only, if only you weren't here. But, ah, uh, a quick death would be too easy for you. You'd just come back anyway, won't you? So, I just need to make sure that today, you learn your lesson. Ah! Uh. Oh, shit. He's got Bonnie. He's, he crushed Bonnie. Bonnie was the one we always let escape every time we lost to the king. Every time we died, we always made sure Bonnie got escaped. Our whole goal was to make sure Bonnie, no matter what, didn't get hurt. But now we're all frozen and she's getting crushed. The king grabbed onto Bonnie. Bonnie! No! Curse you, king. Let them go! Ha! Bright one. Sifrin. Look at me. You need to learn to not cross me again. I will kill this child. And your housemaiden, and your fighter, and your researcher. I will kill them all, one after the other. I will kill them all now and make sure you remember. I will force you to watch, so you will learn. Bran! Ah! The king is tightening his grip. Bonnie! No! Please, no! Come on, stupid body, move! Boniface! No, 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 no! Bon Bon! None of you can move. Your whole body hurts. You can't move, but you have to do something. Save Bonnie. You need to find a way to loop back somehow. You need to die. A tear. Anything. Just loop back. Help me. I'm scared. Just let them go, please. Not Bonnie. Please. Your stomach feels like it's caving in on itself. Curse you, king. Curse you and your whole country. Curse you and everything you stand for. You taste sugar on your tongue. Bonnie. Ah! You have to loop back! Loop back! Friend! When you come back, Bright One, remember this. Loop back! Friend. Oh shit. She is dead, so dead. Go back, go back, go back, go back, go back! Ah! Stars, no, 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 no! You clutch your chest to try to catch your breath and forget. It's fine. You loop back. It's fine. It's fine. They're fine. Bonnie is fine. Looping resets everything. Everything that just happened has been erased. Everything is back to normal. Bonnie is back to normal. Just go and see them. They're fine. They're fine. 
They're fine. They're fine. They're fine. You're fine. A whimper escapes you. No, you're okay. Bonnie is okay. Everyone is okay. They have to be okay. Just breathe. Breathe, 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 breathe. Bonnie. Bonnie is okay. You're okay. Huh. See, because of the way loops work. They won't remember anything. They're not hurt. Everything is back to normal. There's no reason loops would work differently this time. Just breathe and stand up and make sure. Go back to the stage. Follow the script. You have to make sure Bonnie is okay. Get dunked on. <laughs> we got dunked on. Oh, change! You look, you look really, really tired. Time for Act Four, indeed. You really thought you were taking a nap. Did you not sleep well? Not really. <laughs> oh no! I'm sorry to hear that. I was going to tell you something, but forget about it. Go on and do whatever you need to do today. Sure. Do you know if Bonnie is okay? Bonnie? Why wouldn't they be? I, I saw them near the fields earlier to the east. If you'd like to talk to them, you nod. Okay. I'll leave you alone. Make sure to rest up, and we'll meet at dinner for the clock tower later. You nod again. Habit takes over, and you tell her about the care of Huzzah! You need to see if Bonnie is okay. But first, we gotta go fishing. You look like someone who'd like fishing. Would you like to fish for a little bit? Yes, give me that attack points. Hmm. You haven't gone fishing for long, but I just like something you've been doing forever. King really knows how to make his goddamn point. <laughs> Bonnie is here, alive and whole. Bon Bon! Huh? What did you... Bonnie! How are you? I'm... Okay. Good. And... How... Are you? You look bummed out. What's wrong? Nothing is wrong at all. Okay. Well... Um, what do you want? Nothing. You have to go and see Loop. We do. We have to go see what the fuck. The king got us, man. He fucking... He, ga he gave us the old fucking... Shenanigans. So much wool over our eyes. He got us. He got us good. So, wait, what's wrong? I need to do the favor tree thing. Oh, do you need me to leave? Sure, but let's talk later, okay? No. All right, Luke, what the fuck, bro? Or sis, or they, them, androgynous star people. Hey, stop. Just say I told you so and we can move on. I told you so. Hee <laughs> hee, what a stupid idea you had. Thinking the king can be turned good. He's the king. He's probably the reason you're here, or related to it, at least. And all you gotta do is find out he shares your tragic backstory for you to feel pity for him? He didn't have to lift a finger. And because of you, Bonnie was... mercilessly crushed. Anyway, I told you so. But what he said back then, he mentioned something. Something about wishcraft? He did. What's wishcraft? I... I don't know. Wishcraft? Crafting wishes? That sounds impossible and way too convenient. But he seemed to imply you were using it? That's what it felt like to me. I've never heard of wishcraft before. Me neither. I wouldn't even know where to find information about it. But that is new information. So as stupid as the whole making friends with the king thing was, you did find something new. Was it worth it? Every time you close your eyes, you still see a hand tightening. I'm also wondering, the way you looped back last time, wasn't it? Whatever. It's not like your kid will remember whatever just happened anyway. Just put it behind you. That's true. We looped back because we desperately wished for it. And this whole thing gave you something else, didn't it? Another memory to equip. Oh, you didn't even notice. You'll always remember this, after all. Let me do the usual. You got a memory of memories. When equipped, memory of memories allows you to read books you couldn't read before. The ones written in that language that gives you a headache. The ones from your country. Oh, how useful and neat to be able to read your own blinding language. You might as well read any books you find before you forget again. Like you do everything else. And... If you can read that language, maybe you can explore the house a bit more. Don't despair, Stardust. 
There's still a path to follow. In the meantime, though, how can I help you on this wonderful new loop? What should I do next? Sure, Stardust. What do you need help with? Yep. Like, there's a couple... There's a couple that I know of that I just... For now, I can't remember where I found them. Like, there was a couple of books that were in a language that had a tree on the cover that I could not... That I can't remember where they're located. Where they're located. Hmm, you found out more about your friends and the king. The king mentioned something. Wishcraft. You can read books in your language now. Maybe you should explore the house again? I'm also pretty sure there's a room you could access now that you couldn't before. About the loops. You need help. Ah. Room I can access now that I couldn't before. Is it talking about that big fancy room in the third floor? Maybe. Maybe. I I don't know, honestly. <laughs> um I know I didn't do I know I didn't finish doing the find the issue for the girl who's worried. Oh, really? Question about questions. Oh! Oh, shit. There is. Okay, I have a lot. All right, Mirabelle statue. Tell me about it. Jane's got a statue. Where'd you get the, where'd you get the key knife? I didn't know your house maiden made it. Explains why it looks so bad. <laughs> it's true, sadly. I don't know much about the chains, believe, but maybe if you looked at a bunch of statues in the house, you might learn something about them. Okay, I already, they already told me to do that. At the end, Isabeau. Ah, the thing he said he'd tell you at the end of your journey? He mentions he wants to tell you something when you go to sleep at the clock tower. That's probably it. But someone interrupted him just as he was about to tell you. How unfortunate. If only there was a way to make sure you wouldn't be interrupted. Maybe you'd finally get to hear what he has to say. And it keeps happening, too. Like, I know I gotta talk to Bonnie about snacks, but then fucking Mirabelle jumps in and it's group hog time! Like, fucking let, him, let the man speak! I've been seeing ghosts of myself in the house. Yourself? Like, how? You tell Loop about how you saw yourself walking around the house a few times. An image of yourself walking around the house. Maybe they're reflections? Remnants of your past loops? I wouldn't know. Remnants. Odile used the same word to describe the sadnesses. Could it be a sadness? Ha! You see a copy of you walking around and you assume it's a sadness. Are you sad, Stardust? I'm going to go ahead and say they're linked to your loops. If they are, you might see them more and more as you loop through time. Yeah, I saw two or three ghosts of myself. Mira has a fan, and you gave that fan's gift to your housemaid. That was sweet. That was nice. Makes my heart grow warm. You got a pretty bow for your housemaid, too. It's too bad you shouldn't... It's too bad you shouldn't... Blah, blah, blah. It's too bad you shouldn't give that gift to your housemaid again. Can't give her something she already owns, huh? And that's the end of this quest. Good job, Stardust. Huh. Can I stay here for a little bit, huh? What? Stay here? With me? Why? Oh, is that, is that how I get started on the weird points? Because I went and I re-examined four things in the house that I already picked up, but I couldn't get Odile to say anything more about it. Oh, oh but the Odile sus points. <laughs> there, the party instead. I want to spend time here. But why? Do what you want. Just go away when you have enough. Four more stuff points to gain. Yeah, I, I was wondering why I wasn't getting the sus points. And yeah, I grabbed everything to the point where she's like, ah, something's weird, I'll tell you later. And then I grabbed one more repeat and nothing. Thanks. Any actual questions? Actually, no. Nah. Alright. 
Oh, okay, I already asked about the knife. Here again? You really like to talk to me, huh, Stardust? It's been more than 15 times already. Er, I'm so sorry for bothering you. I forgive you, Stardust. But, hmm... Maybe you should get something as a reward, don't you think? For coming to talk to me so often? A secret tutorial! No! Maybe you'll know about it already, though. So, there's an item you can give to your party if you talk to them in Dormant. Did you know that? Is there? How did you not find it already? Yes, it's the flower. You should explore Dormant a bit more, Stardust. There's a flower you can get and give it to your party. It's a tutorial about how I can give you that flower, too? What? No, gross! I don't want it. I don't want any of your stuff, but... I am a bit of a special case still, and so there's a couple of items you can show me if you wanted. Is that so? I'm too lazy to open new choices for you in our conversations, though, so just stand kind of close to the tree and just interact with your souvenirs. Maybe I'll have something to say about it. So in simpler terms, if you use a souvenir near me, I might react to it. Hmm, anyway, how can I help you? You can tell me how I can bring a lot of souvenirs here. Oh, wait. If I grab a bunch of souvenirs as I go through the house and then get forced looped back from the house maiden, do I get to keep a lot of those souvenirs to show her? Oh, wrong button. You know how to fix a knife. You know how to sharpen the key knife now. Find the sharpening stone on floor one. Find the key knife on floor three. Apply stone to key knife. It'll probably make battling the king easier now. Hooray! There's this book fan. Ah, that man living in the house full of books. He seems to be really into that book series your house maiden likes. The Cursing of Chateau Castle, right? Didn't the last issue come out right as the king curse started freezing Paul Garden time? It might be hard to find. If you find any issues, you should remember the issue number and tell him. Maybe you might end up finding the very last one. I think the last one was like 80-something, 80 85, 86. Alright, do I have any souvenirs? I just have my shitty-ass silver coin. Nope. Oh. How near are we talking, Loop? Like, just in this line here? Like, oh, come on. Here, you're fucking Sifrin, you move too fast. Okay, okay. Alright. You roll the coin around in your pocket. Er, do you want to talk about it? Why would you? It's just a coin, after all. Of course it is. That's definitely not a single reason you've kept it this whole time. You haven't even tried to buy anything with it. A snack? A stupid item? Anything? Leave it behind already. Why does Loop care, anyway? I don't care. Not in the slightest. No thanks, Stardust. Okay. You betcha. Alright. Oh, flip it again? Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this silver coin's gotta be from our country, and that's why we just randomly hold on to it. Put the coin in the air a few times. You think about the incident. You put the coin tightly between your fingers. No, oh, Luke, damn it, you like have fucking magnet hands, Luke. Um maybe? I I don't know. You remember, before you became stuck in time, you passed through a little town for supplies. Oh, I guess not. Here it is. I I assume this is what you were talking about. Everyone had things to do, but you were stupidly hungry and you could barely think, so you stopped at a boulangerie nearby. The boulanger was an old man, but strong. Looked like he woke up smiling every day. Even then, with the threat of the king looming over everyone, wordlessly, you pointed at a croissant, showing some coins. Silently, smiling, he got you your pastry, took your money, gave you one silver piece of money back. You both said thank you at the same time, and you both rose. Apart from Issa and Mira, who have the same accent, you all have very different ways of speaking the same language. Makes sense, since you all come from different places. Through your travels, you met a lot of people with Mira and Issa's Valgardian accent, a few with Bonnie's coastal accent, 
and even fewer with Odile's Cabuan accent. But your accent stayed unique, foreign. The Belonger's accent was the same as yours. Without breaking eye contact, the old man grabbed your arm. His eyes were stunned, fearful, hopeful. And he said, young one, where are you from? And you couldn't answer. There was no way you could answer. How could you answer? Did he know? Did he remember? Could he answer? Was he asking you? Taunting you? Could he remember the lights still? The shapes they cut in the darkness? Their stories? Did they beat in his chest still? Were they still warming up his heart? Could he speak them and everything into existence? Could he say it? Let the words out? Did he remember? Did he remember? Did he remember? Did he remember? You left the boulangerie running. You could see the night sky dotted with lights, but your chest was empty. Uh, yeah. Hook me up with those sus points. Because going through the entire house, floor one to three, well, it's not exactly slow. It's not the fastest thing to do. And I keep forgetting what items I've already gotten in which room. So when I'm ready to even do that, I won't remember exactly the proper path to take. Manually, then talk to it. Oh, I've, I've done that once. Yeah, I've, I've done that once. You could see the night sky, dotted with lights, but your chest was empty. When you ran back, you thought about how you'll always forget about the things you love. It's an immutable fact. But you don't want to forget your family members ever. 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 No matter what, you'd make sure that you would always remember. You ate the croissant when you got back to everyone else. Uh, yes. Because, yeah, like I said, I don't quite remember everything that I perma picked up. It didn't taste like anything. Here's some change. Find out about the incident. Okay, that was... Oh. That was a thing. That was very ominous for just flipping a coin. Like, this game is just getting darker and darker. But I'm here for it. Like... <laughs> time, time travel and time looping are some of my favorite concepts. So it doesn't matter which inventory items, like the drawn card or the shard of glass or something like that. List of books including the family. Oh, okay, the equipment items, got it. 